Welcome back. Last time we discussed the five essentials for capital raising, and this week we're going to hone in on the first part, which is a good accountant. It is essential when you're setting up your business, which is often referred to as a vehicle, that you get the right one for the right business that you're going to run, and you need to also think about the future of your business. So if you're looking at massive expansion, your accountant will guide you on the right vehicle, whether it's a company, proprietary limited, whether it's a trust, they'll actually guide you on the right principles. So we know you've got the right accountant because that's essential. So then when you talk to your accountant, you're going to be digging into your financials and you're going to be doing projections. Now into your financials, that's called a profit and loss statement. So you're going to look at what you've done in the past and analyze that with your accountant and formulate the right plan of the authentic future for your business. And it is essential that you actually get this right because this is what your investors are going to look to invest in. So please be conservative with your figures. We all get super excited, I've done it many times myself, and fail to lack in the variables that can happen to your business. There could be, you could have a fire, there could be damage to a property, all sorts of things that will impact on your forecasts and your financials. So please be as conservative as you possibly can. I can tell you a funny story about accounting. When I was four years old, my uh, neighbor came to me and said that he wanted to buy my Lego. He was a little bit older than me. And I, I, in my mind, I didn't really know what to do. So I spoke to my mother, my first accountant. She actually said to me, Stephen, don't sell the box of Lego, sell by the piece, because by the piece will get you more money. So I was like, took, took that advice from my mum, went back to the my neighbor, I think I made $3.22 at the time, and then was the richest kid in the kindergarten that day. That meant more lollies, and that was an invaluable lesson learned. So thank you for your time today. Good luck finding the ideal accountant for you, and feel free to contact me on the details given.